Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. Look at that black girl, look at that black girl, look at that black girl. Okay, so I really do not want to make a long intro because I really hate long intros, but I just have to say this disclaimer because I don't want nobody like skip first of all do not skip through my video because i feel like everything i have to say is very important i'm not doing shade on ant because i love ant disclaimer i love ant i love ant i love ant but i'm just gonna you know tell y'all the full honest truth i am making this video for upcoming freshmen so if you already go to ant i mean this is just like stuff that you should already know maybe you'll relate to what i'm saying Here's a little background for me. My name is Kendra. I'm a rising junior at North Carolina a and My major is architecture engineering. So if you need help in math or something, you can definitely hit me up. Next on my list is housing. So most of the dorms on campus are considered freshman housing. Um, this past year, they um, bought out most of the surrounding apartments. So a lot of upperclassmen are moving off campus just because the amount of freshmen that we had coming in last year was like an overload. So the campus, the dorms on campus is Barbie, Van Story, Morrow, Morrison, Holland, Curtis, Pride, Villages, Haley, and Sweets EF, and Cooper. Um, I will say I stay in Haley and Sweets E. I know I say the Swiss F. Um, Barbie and Haley are one of the smallest dorms you're going to find on campus, but it is a suite style, so you won't have a community bathroom. Like most of the other dorms are community bathrooms. Um, Villages is one of the nicest dorms on campus, um, it's one of the newest they have. And then Pride is a really good dorm as well. I'm pretty sure there's a sweet style. Um, and then, of course, Sweets EF is, of course, sweet style. And those have a plethora of singles. And so does Pride, but I'm pretty sure Sweets has the most singles. But that's usually for upperclassmen. But since we have had an, older, an overload of freshmen, there have been freshmen staying in dorms like Pride and Sweets. I'm personally going to be off campus, but if you ever need me, if you want me to make another video, like specifically on dorms, just comment down below and I'll do the best I can with that. Um, or if you want to know my experience living in Haley and Sweets, I can do that video too. Okay, next on my list is um, make sure you buy a good mattress pad just because the bed I mean, it's comfortable, but it's, it could be better. So I would definitely spend money, like good money on a mattress pad so you can have the best sleep that you can get. Um, the dorms do come with a fridge and microwave, so you don't have to worry about buying that. Um, my best friend was command strips because you're not supposed to like nail stuff in the wall and stuff. I mean, you probably already know that, but you're not supposed to like mess up the walls and stuff. So command strips really worked for me. Um, depending on where you are though, because when I was in Haley, it worked perfectly. But when I was in Sweets, the stuff was falling off the wall. So I did use a couple like thumbtacks that make like very, very small holes in the walls. But you know, that's up to your wrist up to you what do you want to do that next on my list is the cab so i will say y'all the cab is trash like they have implemented some things that make it a little more appetizing like they've added a little more you know stuff to the menu but like no it's usually trash in my first year like if i didn't like what was for the entree like i usually just ate pizza or ate a sandwich because those are always available but, you know, please do not get the freshman 15 or freshman 20, whatever you want to call it. Don't gain no weight, okay, if you don't have to. We have Taco Tuesday and we have Fried Chicken Friday. But our fried chicken is not that good. Not even going to lie, it's real greasy. Um, the macaroni and cheese is hit and miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. And then the greens, I always eat that. That's always good. And then the cornbread, if you get a good batch. And sometimes they might even have enough cornbread left when you go. Um, Fried Chicken Friday is definitely like a day that everybody goes to the cab and want to be dressed to death. So don't be coming to the cab on Friday looking like a bum because you will be exposed to all the people that's there. So definitely take into account that. I personally get my Fried Chicken Friday meal from Simply To Go just because I feel like their food be fresher. I don't know. It be something about when you go in the cab. It's just like they putting out mass amount of food at the same time. So... Ooh. So in the cafe, we have 
um, Starbucks, you all probably already seen that, McAllister's, which is something like Panera Bread, if you never heard of McAllister's. And then Simply To Go is somewhere you can go and basically get what's in the calf, but you can um, take it out of the calf, I guess you could say. Like, you can get the food to go, basically. That's why it's called Simply To Go. They also have, like, salads, like, different, like, little salad um, boxes and, like, fruits and chips. You can get cookies and fruit out of there. And you use your swipes for that. And McAllister's, you got to use Flex. So, yeah, Simply To Go. I mean, it's good when you're just trying to run in and run out. Sometimes I just go in there to see what they have because on some days, the Simply To Go be worse than the calf. Like, it be worse than the calf. And the calf is already bad. So, just think, I mean, it don't it don't hurt to just go in there. But I would never, like, wait there ever again for no food. Like, if they're trying to bring that food, I would never wait again and for the food to be nasty. So, whatever. I also have the dome. The dome is kind of, like, on the north side of campus. And I feel like the cab is, like, more, like, on the south side of campus. But the dome has Pizza Hut, Sub Connection, Aggie Wings, a smoothie place, and Chick-fil-A. Um, But all the stuff that's in the dome is going to be in the student center soon. So, well, it should be in the student center now. So yeah, um, Chick-fil-A, I'm gonna let you know right now, does not really taste like Chick-fil-A. Like, it's Chick-fil-A, but it's not exactly the same. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's not exactly like Chick-fil-A. Pizza Hut, please do not eat too much of that. That stuff is so fattening and it's so greasy. Please be careful with that. Um, Sub Connection is just like Subway, and then Aggie Wings are bomb. They have different, like, little sauces you can get on it, and then the smoothie place is good, too. Um, also, there is a McAllister's in the GCB, and there is a McAllister's in McNair. So, that's just a disclaimer, like, if you have a class or something in there, and you're, like, starving, like, there is a McAllister's in there. And I just want to say, it doesn't matter what meal plan you get, but if you decide to get flex on your meal plan, please, like, spread out how much you're going to use, like, the amount of flex you're going to use so it can last the whole semester because you'll be looking real dumb at the end of the year where you don't have no flex and you're going to be stuck going to the cab because I learned the hard way. So please, like, don't be spending up all your flex. I'm just about to just run to the um, dome real quick and all your flex will be gone. Okay. But um, also, flex is taken at um, Papa John's as well. So if you want to order a pizza, you can definitely get that with your flex. Um, They're trying to get more um places where we can spin flex so yeah they was trying to get chipotle i don't know if that's gonna go through or not but that is like their next project okay next on my list is books okay so i'm gonna talk about books in the bookstore so personally i wish somebody would have not would have told me that i did not have to buy all the books that they recommended um i definitely spent like almost a thousand dollars on books my freshman year so go to class Go to your classes and ask your professors personally or say in front of the class, like, do I need the book and are we going to use it? Like, are we really, really going to use it the whole entire year? And if they say yes, then go ahead and look if you can find the book online as a PDF. I know some people like to have a paper copy, but you can just print out the PDF as well. But you want to try to get it for free first if you can. So the best is like just Google it, see if you can find a PDF of it for free. And if you still have to buy the book, I suggest renting it if you know for a fact you're not going to use it in the upcoming years. So yeah, definitely rent. So first, try to find a PDF. Second, try to rent. And if you have to buy the book, like I said, if you have to buy a workbook or you have to buy, buy an access code so that you can do like your homework and stuff for like math classes and stuff like that, then I suggest using Amazon because you can get Amazon Prime Student. So you can have like a discount and stuff like that and expedited um, shipping and all that type of stuff. Bookstore. Don't shop in there because that stuff is so overpriced. Like, they're just taking your coin, okay? The same, like, shirts and stuff you can get. I mean, of course, the bookstore has, like, everything you can find and, like, paraphernalia and stuff. But, like, if you want something cheaper, you can just go to the Walmart and get the same, like, antique-style shirts for definitely, like, basically half price. Then they sell it in the um, bookstore. They also have, like, food and stuff in the bookstore. I mean, I got, like, a few stuff, but, like, they definitely overcharge. And that's the same for, like, um, the C-store that they have that's going to be in the student center as well. That stuff is overpriced. If you really need something, like, if you really, really need it and that's the only place you can go, okay, go. But if you can find somebody that can take it to the store or something, 
I would go to the store because they be overpricing. On my list is the importance of having a Twitter. So Twitter is like the biggest platform that ANC has. Like if you ever want to know something about ANC, Twitter is definitely the place you want to go. Um, if you don't have a Twitter, just go ahead and get it. Um, my freshman year, I didn't have a Twitter and I kept on asking my friend like, you know, what's going on? What are they talking about? And she would tell me, but like, it's better if you just have a Twitter. Like, just go to the NCAT hashtag. It has everything you need to know. Um, Personally, when I want to go to a party or something, I always go every weekend. I look on the NCAT hashtag and see what's up. Um, So, yeah. And it's definitely like, if it's just like a sprung about event have going on. Like, let's say during the winter time, we might have like a snow fight or, snowball fight or something. Like, they will put it in the NCAT hashtag and be like, you know, come out at this time or whatever. So if you want to be in the loop of what's going on or even be like an active vocal person, like just go ahead and get the Twitter and use the NCAT hashtag. So on my list is um, football and basketball games. So I feel like football and basketball games are definitely different from high school. And obviously that's like already known because it's a college game. Um, football, the football games, I mean, they're lit. Like, the band is, like, something to see. Um, like, the, um, SGA court, that's something to see. But people usually leave after halftime after the band plays. Um, usually you wouldn't really go unless it's, like, a really big game. As for football games, they're kind of scarce just because they go to a lot of away games. So we don't have a lot of home games, like, talking about it. But basketball games, we have a lot more, um, home games. And usually people really only really go to like the big games, like when we play like um, Central or something like that. But lately we've like really gotten hyped with like the basketball games. They call it Club Corbett, where they have like a DJ and stuff, and it's been really lit. But yeah, I mean, I personally like the well. I thought I would like the football games better, but I think I like the basketball games better just because I guess it's more intimate. Like football games, unless you go with a friend, it's kind of just like you on your own type of thing. ANC has a really good family atmosphere and to be honest once you're an Aggie you're going to be saying Aggie pride to the day you die just I mean that's just how it is like you're going to have pride forever for a n t so next I put next on my list is special show okay so I'm gonna just let you know right now ANC is full of divas like if you are not on that level honey maybe you need to rise up to that level like for the longest I was like you know why is everybody dressing so cute like why are they going all out for these little events but like honey if you're trying to find you a man <laughs> I know you're gonna do it like that, but like I don't know. It's kind of like everybody has like their own different style. But I will say at events, like it's your time to pop out. Do not go up there looking bummy. I mean, not to say you can't, but like I mean, nobody cares, really. But I'm just saying, Auntie is like a very like the girls can be kind of stuck up or look stuck up and very like diva ish. Like I do get that vibe. Sometimes when I go out, like if it's not my friends, like some some of the girls just seem bushy and just like they bigger. I don't know, whatever. No tea, no shade to nobody. But if you go to NT and you feel that vibe, comment down below. Next on my list is to be active. Like just really get into stuff. Like not like nothing crazy. I mean like you know be a part. When you like introduce yourself, you should be able to say like I do this and I do that. And I'm a part of Auntie's community, you know? Next on my list is safety. So I really feel like Auntie is a safe campus. Um, we do have a lot of different stories and altercations with like a lot of like surrounding, like surrounding the campus of like shootings and people dying and all that type of stuff. But like to be honest, on campus it is like safe and secure. Like I don't stress about, you know, walking around campus late at night or something like that. Next on my list is Jiho and Aggie Fest. Okay. Jiho is like mad, 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 mad lit. Like I mean, it's called Greatest Homecoming on Earth for a reason. You just gotta find out about that. I will say my tips for Jiho. Get your tickets on time. As soon as they say tickets gonna come out, like you need to be on Twitter making sure you know when the ticket's about to drop. Like you need to get them tickets ASAP because the way you, the longer you wait, the worse seats you're gonna get like at a concert and that stuff will be sold out. Like you need to look at how many students go to ANT and how many tickets are available. Everybody not going. So and if you wanna go into like like 
I don't know, like club parties and stuff like that. That's another thing you have to get early. Like early bear tickets gonna be the cheapest tickets. The longer you wait, the more money you're gonna pay. Um, Aggie Fest is like, I mean, they got like a couple events, but it's more like a weekend thing. It isn't like Geo is like the whole week. Aggie Fest is like a weekend, and they only have like a little fair. I mean, I don't know. It's okay. It's just not as lit as Geo. But Aggie Fest is cool though. Like everybody has their own little spring celebration. But yeah. That's my biggest thing. I mean, just live it up. I mean, it's Geo. That's gonna be that's all you're gonna be saying is Geo. It's Geo. Whatever. Do whatever is Geo. That's all you're gonna be saying. But that's just something you gotta experience. I mean, that's up to you. Do not pick ANT just because you feel like it's the little school. Like, go to ANT because you feel like they got your major and you're going to fit in there and it's going to work for you. Like, like okay, aside from, like, having on-campus events and stuff like that, you are there for your education. So, if you're not really feeling it, like, any other way, like, academically, like, any way academically, then it's just, it's just not for you. Like... Please do not feel like, oh my gosh, I got to go to ANT, they to the school ever. Like, no, that's not the only reason why you should go. Next on my list is out of being out of state. Okay, so out of state, being an out of state student is like the struggle. Like, I'm just going to let you know right now, at every event, they're never going to say your area code. <laughs> I was just joking, but, like, for real, for real, like, they're going to run down a list of every area code in North Carolina, and then they might call you out. Like, they put me in a DMV, but, like, I'm not really considered DMV because I'm in Richmond. Like, that's not considered the DMV. So, I mean, I don't know. Being an out-of-state student is just, it's a different experience, but there are so many people that's from out-of-state, so don't even stress, like, you're the only one, but definitely hang around some people that's from your hometown or like it's from your home state or something so that you can like feel relatable to them like they feel your vibe you know but yeah and the tuition alone I mean that's already like a downer and then like you're not gonna be able to go home as much as people that's in state so that's another thing to consider but you know I don't have no problem I'm not complaining I'm just saying so last on my list is NCAT clout. So I don't know if y'all heard of it, but like NCAT just give you clout. And that's, okay, I know if you're a student already, you're going to look at NCAT clout. It's like, if you don't have clout at NCAT, then you're not doing nothing. Like that's how people feel that's at NCAT. And I hope upcoming freshmen don't feel that way. But like sometimes it can feel like you can't really do nothing or be the best you can be unless you have clout on campus. But I'm talking about, like, NCAT giving you clout. Like, when you add the hashtag NCAT to anything, you automatically going to get views. Like, or you automatically going to get retweets. Like, that's just, I mean, I don't know. Like, just going to ANC is going to give you a platform, I guess you can say. Because people, whether they go to ANC or not, they're going to be interested in ANC and the people that go there. So, I mean... That's just how I feel about the whole situation. Like, literally, if I put NCAT at the back of any of my videos, like, it's going to get more views. But just like I said before, I'm not an NCAT vlogger. But, yeah, I hope this, like, is, like, the best video because <laughs> I put so much work into this video. Y'all just do not understand. I okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I really hope that I put my point across on everything I wanted to say. It's no tea, no shade to ANC. I love ANC and I will continue to go there. Um, if you want to reach out to me, all my social media platforms will be in the description below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me. Put on my post notification bells so that you know my post can do my post notification bell so you know exactly when I post. Um, because YouTube really doesn't notify you anymore unless it, unless you press the notification bell. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, boo, but you can go ahead and do that because if you watch this whole video, then obviously you want to see more of me. <laughs> but, um, if you want to see anything else like this, um, please comment down any suggestions you have down below. Um, I'm going to put a lot of information down in my description below, um, of, you know, just little stuff that you might want to know. I will put my um details of the books that i'm selling down in the description below as well because i am selling some freshman books or i i'm even up to renting just tell me your price and i'll you know consider giving you the books but yeah um <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video do see you.
Thank you.